Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to look at a mistake students new to game theory will commonly make. In the lecture introducing the mixed strategy algorithm, I gave you this game and we went through the steps to solve each player's mixed strategy in the Nash equilibrium. This time around, all I want to know is the probability distribution that player 2 will play in that equilibrium. If you want to practice the mixed strategy algorithms process, now is the time to pause the video. Otherwise, here we go. So you will recall we want to find the probability distribution that makes player 1 indifferent between his peer strategies. And we do that by expressing player 1's utility for playing up as some function of playing left, which we express as sigma L. So he'll get 3 points some of the time and negative 2 points the rest of the time. Then we do the same thing with the utility for playing down. Using that same sigma L to represent the probability that player 2 plays left, we have player 1 earning negative 1 some of the time and 0 the rest of the time. And if any of this isn't clear, you can click on the link on your screen to take you back to the algorithm video. Now all we have to do is use those three equations to solve for sigma. So this is the first step, just copying what we had before. And then we eliminate the u's to get an equality with just sigma. So the left side of that equality comes from the second bullet point, the right side comes from the third bullet point, and we can do this because the first bullet point gives us that u of u equals u of d. Then some distributing and rearranging gives us that. And eventually we reach 3 sigma equals 1. Now you might, uh, to completely solve for sigma l, you could put 0.33 and turn in your paper just like that. This is bad. People think 0.33 equals one-third, but it does not. 0.33 is slightly less than a third. A third is actually 0.33333 and so forth. And although that might seem a little nitpicky, consider this. If we go back to the equality and plug in sigma equals 0.33, we don't get an equality. We get an inequality. What this means is that player one earns strictly more on average from playing down than he does from playing up. In turn, that means player 1 will want to play down as a pure strategy and not mix between up and down as he was when we solved the game the last time. But if player 1 is always going down, then player 2 will always want to go left. Yet a couple of slides ago, we claimed that player 2 would mix between left and right. That's a contradiction and that's a big problem. The moral of the story is to express everything in fractions. They're clean and precise, and you won't needlessly lose a point on a homework midterm or final over them.